firstly, I'm really, really happy we won. But secondly, <laughs> Nigel Wint, Aburn and Sharkey, how are you feeling, guys? Very Three happy, nil. aren't we? Oh, oh, yeah, buzzing. Three 0 let, let him say what he wants to say okay. straight away. So, <laughs> if you guys, if you guys are joining us um, and you watched the halftime one, I said we're going to win three 0 One nil at the time, I said we win three 0 it's yeah, but you weren't the only one in the room that said 3 0. You're just claiming because you I said it. I was the only one who said it just on take, camera. It's all right. So he, fit, he just wants to take the glory. There's no footage of you guys saying that. He so does. That's my prediction. Nigel, you're very kind because actually I said 3 0 before the game started. But I wasn't going to say anything. But, but I said it on camera. So I'll yeah. just let you There's two battle proof. that. Out. <laughs> the, proof, the proof's on camera. So. But, but all in all, happy with the performance, Nigel? Yeah, uh, as I said, first half, first 20 minutes, I thought we were outstanding. And then second half, actually Carabag came out, they had a couple of opportunities and we caught them on the, the counter-attack, uh, which we thought we, we would do. Mm -hmm. And from 2-0, you can control the game a lot better and uh, it's exactly what Arsenal did. I like the fact that we went on to get the third goal, but you know what my mentality is like, don't concede at any stage because it just breeds confidence to keep going forward. So perfect result, 3-0. Yeah, and Nigel was actually saying, better not concede. It's like <laughs> yeah. he's still playing, I'm telling you. He's saying it in here to us. Uh, it, it was a goal made in the Arsenal Academy, actually. Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, Iwobi got the assist. We can see it here. Matias says uh, that's a very composed finish by Smith-Rowe uh, for his first Arsenal goal. Uh, great work by Iwobi to set it up. A goal made in the Arsenal Academy. Uh, hello to Orba14 as well. He says that Youth Academy link-up, Iwobi to Smith-Rowe, and then two fire mm. emojis. Um, lots of people excited about Smith, Smith Rowe. We, we touched on it at half time, actually. You know, we were like, oh, it'd be nice for him to get his goal, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then he got it, Sharky. There's another thing I said, but this one unfortunately wasn't on camera. But I said, <laughs> after the first half, I said, I think Smith Rowe's going to score today. I said it, but that wasn't, wasn't on camera, so there's no proof. But I'm, I'm really happy for him. He got his goal, his first goal for Arsenal. Um, and hopefully, th that'll give him confidence. Like, he's been playing now, he's, he's played all the competitions so far. He started in FA Cup and this game and he also came on in the last Europa League game. So it'll give him some confidence now that he's got the goal. Mm. And good. this this will make us all feel old in the room, won't it? Emil oh. Smith Rowe is the first 2000 onwards born player to score for Arsenal in a competitive match. I feel old. So so don't ask me about that. I'm just sulking now. I, feel old. I, 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 I must I must ask you one thing though. He was born the year you left Arsenal. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But I could come back and say, if he's as successful as I was in the team I played in, then we're all going to be very happy. We're all going to be very happy. Yeah. Not a bad comeback. Yeah. No, listen, it was, a, it, was, it, was, it was good play by Arsenal, as we talked yeah. about. Counter-attack. He will be waited, waited, waited. Uh, Smith-Rowe out is outside. Once he gave it to Smith-Rowe, we said goal. Just good composure. And... Uh, he is a, he's a young boy with some exciting talent and one to uh, just keep watching for the future. And it was Awobi who got the assist. Mm. Uh, lots of love out there for Alexander Awobi as well. Hello to all things football. He says Awobi is blossoming under Emery. His confidence is on another level right now. He's got to start on Sunday. Uh, hello to Luke who says Alex Awobi is looking at, like the sharp, classy player he looked like when he first came into mm. the, onto the scene. Great That's to see. The Awobi loving, it's, it's out there. Yeah, we were actually, Sharky and I were talking about that. I said to me, when Awobi first came into the team under Arsene Wenger, he was very direct, he committed at defenders. And then when he got established in the team, I think he played a little bit safe. He lost his way. Mm -hmm. uh, he then got left out of the team. Since Unai Emery's come back in, even when he's coming on a sub, Awobi, uh, and starting as well, uh, he looks to be more positive. He's looking to commit defenders. That's what you want from you know, your wide players and your, your creative midfield players. Yeah. Do we think, Sharky, that, that Awobi is now, you know, one of the tweets mentioned it there, Awobi is pushing for a start in place on the weekend? Yeah, of course. I think, I think he should start on Sunday against Fulham. I think he, it's just another good game for him. He's, he's, that's, he hasn't had a bad game in a while. So I think he is pushing for a starting spot, and I think if he keeps playing at this, he does deserve... Like, if you play well, you deserve to be rewarded with a start. It doesn't matter who you are. So I do think he's is pushing for that place, 100%. I mean, here's a debate. Who drops out for him to fit in, though? I mean, you know... <laughs> I mean, it could be... Listen, it could be anyone, not the manager, but it would be definitely should be pushing, like, knocking on that door, 100%. OK, well, we, we mentioned it several times in the pre-show and then the half-time show. There were changes in the formation and it wasn't just us that noticed it. Uh, hello to... It, it's, it's, 
Ito Kasab, I think. Might have butchered that, but <laughs> yeah. whatever. Uh, I love this about our new manager um, is that he is quick in his decisions. Uh, change the formation by bringing in Torreira to negate the loss in possession and provide familiar gameplay to the team. 1-0. Hello to Simon as well, who says, uh, I do like how Emery just changes it at 45 minutes. We'll hook whoever he wants. Uh, Sam says 2-0 up and Emery brings on Ozil and Lacazette. Talk about brutal. <laughs> um, we were saying that in here, actually, the, the substitutions were interesting because Ooh. as Arsenal fans, we're not quite used to seeing these type of substitutions in these type of games, right? No, I, feel, I think you, you know, when you get used to a manager, you get to feel that he's going to make a similar type of substitution. And I think that's what people were saying uh, when they were getting frustrated a little with Arsene Wenger. They knew 67 minutes, who was going to come off, who was going to come on. But when you get a new manager in charge, different ideas, um, and it's, it's showing at the moment that you're, you're right, it doesn't matter who it is, what time in the game it is, if he feels he needs to make a change, obviously we don't know tonight whether that was injury or it was uh, tactical, then he'll, he'll, he'll make that change, he's not afraid uh, to, to do that and I think that's good, it keeps it keeps the players on their toes as well. <laughs> as long as you're not the player exactly. that's being hooked, that, exactly. that's what perform. you don't want. <laughs> exactly, you want to perform, you don't want to... You know um, Emery will make this, he'll, mm. he'll spring off at half-time. Like, if he wants to do stuff, he'll do it. So you want to perform so well that he doesn't even want to think about bringing you off. So but I think it's important to know, as a manager, will also get across to the team, is I'm making these decisions for the team yeah. so we can go on to win the game. It's nothing personal. As a player, the worst thing is to take it personally. And that's what the manager, in his team meetings and when he's working with the players, he has to make that understand. No matter when I make my substitutions, I'm doing it for the good of the team. And as a player, if it's 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, mm -hmm. no player's happy to come off then. But you have to accept that and we'll move on back to the next game. Yeah, as yeah. long as we're winning. It also means yeah. that, you know, we, we spoke about this, I think it was off air, it all blends in, but uh, we spoke about players getting rested and stuff like that. And you said when you were playing, you didn't necessarily like a rest. But now we're seeing players who think they might be getting a rest Coming on, you know, Ozil came on for 15 minutes, Lacazette came on. They weren't yeah. needed in the game, but they were still on. No, but there's different. Uh, I'm talking about getting a rest when you, you're not even travelling with the squad. I mean, I used to hate that. Arsene Wenger used to do it about every seven or eight weeks with myself. You know, he would leave you out and like you didn't, literally didn't want you travelling with the team. You stayed away from the game, even if it was a home game, mm. you spent the, spent the time at home. These guys are, they tra they're not resting, they're travelling, they're on the substitute bench and they could come on from minute one to minute 90. So it's, it's not like getting a, got a, yeah. getting a rest because you are still preparing for a game. So, uh, but it is fascinating to watch what uh, Unai Emery does. And then also as well today, uh -huh. he changes the formation to start with. And we're all guessing and I'd love to be there now and, and asking the questions mm. after, why did you start with that uh, back five? What was the thinking behind it? Those are the things that you yeah. want to know as now as a supporter what he's thinking, what his thought process is going along the line. Mm. Yeah, I'd love to know what he's thinking. He did it for yeah. a reason, so it'll be good to know why he did it. Yeah. So hopefully we find out, hopefully we do find out why he went for that. So In due course, we'll find out yeah. more about our mm. new uh, head coach. <laughs> uh, right, Arsenal Nation live on Sunday. Arsenal take on Fulham. Uh, we're going to be with you at 11.30 for that, so make sure you log on. The usual places, Arsenal Facebook, YouTube and Arsenal.com. Com. It's an early kickoff, so hopefully we'll see you then. But before we go, I need to get one word, your thought on the game, one word sign off. We'll start with you, Sharky, because you were like, don't come to me uh, first. Yeah, so that's he's, why he's, trying to to think, he's trying to think something. <laughs> that's why I've gone to you first, because you were like, Ugh. oh, shall I start him off again? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, leading you by the hand again. Professional. Oh, here we go. Professional, okay. Um, new. The reason I say that, okay, it's confusing, but every single goal scorer was, it was, it was new. It was like everyone scored their first goal. Do you about, understand the concept a of a one word sign off? <sighs> okay, it was a bad one, okay, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not good at this. <laughs> he did use one word, but then he had to explain why, because yeah. it would have confused everyone. What he should have done is yeah. just stopped at new. I should have. And everyone done. would have said new, and then next time you're on, you could have said new goal scorers. There you go. He's, he's the professional. You've yeah. you got to think ahead. There you go, professional. But he did, he did, let's give him some credit, he did get the score right. 
There you go. He stole it from me. He stole it from me. <laughs> Professional from Nigel Winterburn, new from Sharky. Thank you to these guys for joining me on Arsenal Nation Live. Remember, 11.30, we are back on the weekend Sunday for that game against Fulham, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.